Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing what's probably going to be my final under the dome type video, most likely. In this one, we're going to be talking about the news that CBS has officially canceled the series under the dome season three's finale will be the final episode there will not be a continuation there will not be a season four okay so i'll put the link in the description so you guys can go ahead and read about it from variety uh there's two episodes left of this show uh incandescence uh, which is episode 12, season 3, that's going to be September 3rd, and then September 10th, which is The Enemy Within. That's going to be the final episode. Now, if you guys don't know, as it says in the Variety article, it has already confirmed that the dome will come down at the end of the third season. But that said, uh, we weren't sure for a while if it was going to get a fourth season renewal or if the third season was going to be the last one. Um, now we know for sure, 100%, the third season will be the final season of Under the Dome. So, uh, a good number of people messaged me. They said, Trev, Under the Dome's been canceled just like you thought it was going to be. And, uh, you know, what do you think? Let me let us hear your thoughts on it. So, with this one, I'm not really happy that it's being canceled because, um, you know, I did like the show quite a bit, especially when it first started. But it's pretty obvious to me, here's the thing with Under the Dome, they didn't plan it out in the beginning to be a many season series. They didn't start it off the way you would need to start it off for it to be a show that would continue for four or five seasons. They just didn't. I mean, the first season of Under the Dome was great. The second season starts off, you have some big deaths and that right at the beginning to kill off Linda, who was like one of our main lead characters, and you had deaths all the way through. But they keep throwing in these extra characters um, that were clearly not there earlier on. <laughs> like you've got Andrew J. West, who was uh, a Gareth in The Walking Dead. He shows up in season three as a character, just like a random character in, in Chestersville, uh, Chestersville. And it doesn't, it doesn't make sense that he would be, it's like he's not, he shouldn't be there. You know, we would have seen him by now. And it's just pretty obvious to me that they didn't set it up in the beginning for it to be a show that was going to run that long. It's like CBS, they had the first season. They didn't know if they were going to do a second season. They weren't sure. And all the way through, they weren't sure if they were going to continue. So they had this back and forth with some cliffhangers and that. And, um, you know, by the time the third season came around, the premiere was really strong. I like their kind of Matrix idea that they had for it at the beginning of season three. But then as we got later on into season three, we had this new kind of villain, you know, come in out of nowhere, Christine Price. And and just, uh, I just, I, I didn't like it at all. I was like, well, you know, man, you know, it's like you guys... You should have wrapped it up sooner. It just felt so contrived, and it was so obvious that they're just throwing things in there with the writing. They're just like, okay, I guess we'll go here now. I guess we'll go there now. It's like you should have thought of that in season one and plan for that later on you know um you should have had christine show up in season one and you know like you just should have planned it out better as you as you went through if you're going to do a long-running show long-running series have to be well thought out have to be well planned out unless you're talking about like a comedy or something like any type of serious story where you're going to get viewers involved like a drama and they're going to follow it through seasons and seasons you really should have a, a clear a clear idea of where the series is going to go otherwise it gets too choppy and can become repetitive which is what season three feels like season three feels like kind of a do-over it's like we thought they were going to get out of the dome and then we thought they were out of the dome and then we found out they're not and then season two they did get out and they came back and it's just like you know ah, just back and forth back and forth back and forth without any consistent progression of the characters character development you have a character like big jim goes nuts and starts killing everybody then the next season's like oh yeah i'm back to normal again yeah i'm, I'm still I, i'm still willing to kill anybody but everything's cool now we're, we're good okay we're every we're cool right you know <laughs> it's like i don't know man so you know it's a shame the way the series ended up i was always wondering like is this going to be a show that you'll want to buy the complete collection on blu-ray or something and watch over will it end well will it be um, you know a good series to look at as a whole because it started off so strong and um unfortunately in the end i'll have to say with this one no it's not a series that i really care to buy and collect uh that will be thought of in 10 or 20 years will we look back and think man that was an awesome show 
No, probably not. <laughs> you know, uh, it has parts that were pretty awesome. Like at the beginning, uh, it starts off really well when they have more of the survival horror stuff. Uh, they mixed in the sci-fi elements with the dome in that. But um, the good characterization in that that we started with early on, maybe the first carried somewhat into the second season, but then by the time the third season came up, it was just like, ah, you know, I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. So um, let me know what you guys think about the cancellation of Under the Dome. I'm kind of saddened by it because I did like the show. I, I don't want to sound like I hated the show, but I just am disappointed that they didn't set it up so that it could be a show that people would get hooked on and stick with for many seasons. It's pretty obvious they didn't set it up that way. You know, if you look at the first season of Under the Dome, they're killing characters off, but they don't have that many characters to begin with. You didn't set it up to have a huge, you know, amount of characters and people are dying off so fast. You can't really replace them for the story, so you just create these new characters, throw them in, and it, it's supposed to feel natural. It just doesn't. You know, season two is like, okay, I can buy that I didn't see this character, that character, this character. Time season three comes up, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. It just it just fizzled out for me as it went through, and I think they're I think they're making the right decision because they should have uh, they should have uh, handled it with a little bit more care. Uh, you know, around the season one to two range, they just should have thought we need to really plan this out and, and you know uh, create a good a really good story out of this rather than kind of this back and forth wishy washy. Not sure what we're going to do. Then we'll throw this in, throw that in. Oh yeah, nobody will pay attention. Let's just do this. Let's just do that, and then see where it goes. Not cool. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about uh, Under the Dome's uh, you know, final uh, cancellation. I'm a bit disappointed, but that said, I haven't been feeling Season 3 at all. I haven't been reviewing it like I thought I was going to. It's just kind of disappointed me quite a bit. So write your comments below on what you guys think. Under the Dome finally canceled and uh, what you thought of the series. If you're interested, I could do a series review. We could talk about, uh, in my opinion, the peaks and the low parts of the series and which, uh, which storylines I liked, which parts of the seasons I liked. But definitely with this show, it started out really strong and as it went on, it was just up and down, up and down. But the, 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 the curve was like this, you know, it was up and down, up and down, up and down. But the general curve uh, was downhill for me for the show, at least as a viewer who was reviewing it all the way through first, second season. By the time the third season came, ah, you know, just like, what am I watching now? <laughs> just throwing this shit together. They don't even care anymore. So, uh, yeah, write your comments below. If you like the video, please thumb it up below. If you don't like the video, you can go ahead and thumb it down. If the show was awesome all the way through, try thumbs down, you suck. Go ahead and thumb it down if you want to. And, uh, you know, if you're new and you want to subscribe, be sure to subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this video, guys. I may see you again for another Under the Dome video, but that's up to you. you got to tell me what you want to see. Uh, yeah, as always, it's Trev. I'm saying peace.